The first area in our Innovation Action Plan is the innovation of our curriculum. Over the last 18 months, we've done a lot to impart new skills in new ways. With the Course Busters initiative, led by Nancy Jans, our professors shifted the way they taught foundational courses in HBHE, HMP, Epidemiology, and EHS. We've learned a lot from that experience, including how to make better reusable learning objects, and we're beginning to create a library of course content that can be used not only in one class, but in many. We also extended our reach into the undergraduate space. Beyond the great foundational class pioneered by Ken Warner, three new courses have been developed. One class led by Vic Strucker helps undergraduates understand social and behavioral sciences as a foundation of the health professions. This fall, Matt Bolton successfully launched a global public health course. And this semester, we have Laura Rosick and Rick Neitzel teaching an introductory environmental health course to the undergraduates. We've also been developing new educational programs that will help our students, faculty, and staff to handle the really volatile and complex problems of the world. For example, Phyllis Meadows and Dana Thomas have been working on the FAST program, the formerly training students deployed to tackle real-world public health issues. And the new CATS program developed by Susan King is allowing students to lead and participate in immersive dialogues on race, socioeconomic status, and health equity. We've also been working our educational magic in new places, like through the MEC program, where graduate students conducted a health impact assessment and collaborated on a community-driven project around Michigan's Willow Run. Jen Martin's class last year on advocacy took students to Lansing to meet with policymakers. In March, Eden Wells and Amy Schultz took Public Health 600 students to Battle Creek in Marshall, Michigan to consider multidisciplinary issues like policy and health education around the 2010 Enbridge oil spill caused by a ruptured pipeline. A team of staff headlined by Vlad Vilbut, Dina Kurz, and Paul D'Souza have been helping faculty to enhance teaching and learning at the school. If you're interested in bringing innovative instructional approaches to your classroom, set up a time to talk to them. They're great. Probably our piece de resistance in terms of creativity was Eden Wells' zombie apocalypse as a way to simulate some of the chaos and to raise awareness of basic principles in handling disasters. We still have a long way to go to build a 21st century curriculum, but we're well on our way.